Hey YouTube, VicerStruct97, uh, coming at you with a Love Live deck profile on uh, yellow, green, red. Um, so yeah, the deck came in the mail today, this morning actually, and I had already made a deck profile of this deck, and it's recorded, but um, I went to locals and I tested it a little bit, so I'd rather just redo it with a little more experience than I had when I first made the video. Um, so yeah, uh, this is actually one of my more favorite sets that's out in English right now. Um, Modica is probably my favorite, but this is a close second because I just like the way the set works and I like some of its cards. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to do a deck profile on this version. However, I do have more versions I want to build. However, I bought this deck in singles, so it may take some time before I can make other builds of this deck because I actually kind of want to do the alpaca thing because it seems like it'd be fun. Um, that'll take some time to get. But for right now, this is the deck profile I'm going to do. I, this is the competitive version I want to run. But I'm also going to be building the blue version, maybe some other time. So yeah, before there's like six minutes of explaining the deck profile, I'm just going to get into it. So, um, with level zeros, four of this Nozomi. She's the 3-5 uh, beat stick of the deck. Works kind of like Austin lays on sofa. So, um, yeah, sorry if the lighting's kind of different. I usually record my deck profiles in the day, but it's 1.30 in the morning right now. So, and these cards kind of have like a dual terminal effect, so it may be... I don't know if there's a glare or not, but yes. So this is the beat stick of the level zero. Uh, next is four of the suicider for the deck, this Honoka. Um, she's a pretty good suicider. She has the ability to compress you. Uh, if you have like one card in deck, you can just start swinging with this and uh, kind of guarantee you have more uh, more compression. And it's just the suicider for the deck, but I play four mainly because it's color fixing. I do not run much red in the deck besides the level threes. And I'd rather not level up a level 3 if I can help it, so leveling up this Hanukkah is usually what I do. But uh, there is a few other options to level up with. Um, one of this Nico. I was just playing one of it. I wanted to run another level 0 to make 16 because that's my preferred number. And I didn't know what else to add. This is probably the best opening level 0 in pretty much any deck. It's something that reaches 4k level 1. Or something that can just kill suiciders and be really strong. Um, so... Yeah, just pretty much a 4k level 1 beat stick. Best opening, and yeah, just a little tech. Um, next up is 3 of this Eddie. She is a pretty cool card. She's just a 2-5, but she has uh, an ability that lets, lets you uh, reborn a 1-0 Eddie, which is pretty much the main beat stick of the deck. So you can put yourself a 4-5 uh, level 1 out at level 0, which is pretty cool. But she can maintain your level 1 game, which is pretty important if you lose it to a deck with a stronger level 1. So you can maintain some sort of advantage, even though she does come with the cost of clocking herself. But that usually doesn't matter unless you try to do it at level 2 or something. Um, up next, 3 of this Kotori. Um, you probably don't need to run 3 of this card, however, Kotori is my favorite character in Love Live. Um, so I play a third one. And when I play three of Searchers, I feel like the deck has more synergy overall, because I can usually get what I need. But you probably only need to run two, it's just a pay one discard search um, that's weaker than normal pay one discard searches by a thousand. But um, yeah, it's kind of cool in this deck, because your level one needs some sort of setup. Um, usually the deck sets it up for you, but you want to have at least one Umi and like two to three Eddie going into your level one. So if you don't have like the Umi, you can search for it, and it can just get what you need. Um, if you have a lot of stock, of course, you can get your level 3s when you refresh, um, if you need them. Uh, pay 1 discard searches are really good. They hand fix. And the last level 0 is this, uh, spammable Maki that, uh, just brainstorms and for every climax gives 2,000 and 500 to center characters, so she's a little more than just a spammable brainstorm, so she's really good, but only one of. Uh, kind of stinks too because... Maki is like my second or third favorite character and I can only play one of her, but yeah. So that should be 16 level zeros because that's my preferred number. Um, and we'll just jump into level one. So starting off, four of the main level one is this Eddie. That gains 500 for each other character. You So 6-5 base if you have a full field. Um, but with usually you have like two 500 assists or something like that. Um, so she usually peaks at 7-5, which is not bad number at all. It's not a bad number at all. Um, nothing too special, but it's pretty good in this deck. It fulfills its purpose. You search it a lot, and um, you can reborn it if it dies. So it's just the main 
It's the best thing Love Lab has to offer for its level 1, honestly, for a 1-0 option, and it's really good. So, yes, you want to definitely play 4 of that. And then 3 to 4 to, of this uh, Umi, but I choose to play 3. Um, Umi is a really good card. It's 500 global, so that's pretty good, but it also is the brainstormer of the deck. And this brainstormer is one of the only ways for Love Live to keep, uh, stay plus over your opponent or just maintain advantage. Um, because you do have to sometimes sacrifice your hand in order for Eddie to be big enough to do stuff. So this can help maintain hand advantage, keep a clean stock, and it's just a very crucial part to Love Live. Um, and right now I'm choosing to play two of this 117k Kotori um, over the 11 Honoka that gains hand on core and combos with the gates. Um, this card tested pretty well today. I didn't play against many decks that I plan to play against later. Um, cause my locals isn't so big on Vice, um, but yes, so, this card actually worked pretty well cause it can usually guarantee you, if you're, the deck you're facing against doesn't have event backups, then this can usually guarantee you, uh, a battle, and that's pretty good, because with two 500 backups, she's 8k, which is pretty good on offense, um, cause they can't back it up, and you don't, uh, this version of the deck does not run any character backups at level 1, so, her downside doesn't really affect her too bad at level 1, but yeah. She's a pretty cool card. I like her right now, but she's opt to be like changed for the Honoka uh, whenever I want to test that out. So yeah. And then lastly, two of this level 1 Suicider. Um, level 1 Suiciders are always good. This is actually kind of for Fate Zero's 1-1 one, one, 7k Rider, or just vanillas like that in general. Just things that are like 1-1 one, one and big that this deck can't really handle because... Uh, Eddie is pretty much the standard biggest thing in the deck, so this card can help get rid of those stuff, or uh, those things, and it is red, so I can clock it, I'm mean, not clock it, uh, level up with it, um, and it's just a good card, I don't play its climax combo, obviously, but yes, level 1 suiciders are always good, and that's the uh, level 1, it should be, actually I don't know how it should be, 2, 4, 7, 11, okay, so 11 level 1s. Um, on to level 2, 2 of this Umi, uh, this is pretty much like the best level 2 for Love Live that I've seen, or just want to play for 2 ones anyways, um, gains 500 for each tap character, so it can get pretty big and stay big on your opponent's turn with the Umi. And then one of this uh, Nozomi, she's a cool tech card as a one of I think, um, on offense she can obviously make your things bigger and you can see what you're going to trigger next. So, but on defense, she's also pretty good if you back her up and you can uh, use her effect and pretty much back up another character, meaning two of your characters will survive and you won't lose all your characters. So she's a way to keep advantage without having to play more cards from your hand and she's overall a pretty cool card. Um, two of this level assist. This is one of my favorite level assists because I think its effect is really good when you when it, she comes out with a full field you get a blind stock so she's pretty much a 2-0 level assist um, she doesn't have any other effects other than that so she is pretty much just a 2-0 level assist but I think it's a good way to maintain stock and um, yeah level assists are really important for the level 3 Nico so you can be bigger than your opponent so that is always good to have uh, and one of the reasons I play green is the level assist and then two of this Nozomi backup so, just a pretty standard 3k backup, except when you play it, you can give a character 2k, so it can help with your level 3 Nico, or just getting over things in general, and it's a 3k backup, so, yeah. She's a pretty cool backup, in my opinion, and that should be 7 level 2s. And then on to level 3s, 4 of the Umi. Um, I choose to play uh, the Umi and her combo over the... Uh, wind trigger combo because I like this combo better. Uh, it only gives a thousand everything else, but it salvages a character, which I think is really important for uh, getting more healers since Love Live does not have like that many um, and they're not too strong. But it can get back healers or just salvage game enders like the Nico. Um, and I think this card combos really well with the Nico, which I'll cover now, so it kind of makes more sense. Uh, so yeah, three of this Nico. Uh, another reason I wanted to play the green version. So this card gives minus soul in front, and then when it reverses a character, you can pay two discard to send it to clock. So I think this is a really good game ender because it doesn't have like any restrictions, honestly. 
it's not a climax combo and it's not the turn it's played meaning you can do it on your opponent's turn hold up make, let me make sure I'm not being a dumb uh yeah so it, it can work on your opponent's turn and uh, I think green is a really important color for can I English color for love live especially with the level 3 duco coming to English soon because you need to send it to clock um, to kill it and just setting things to clock and ha if this lives then it can do it multiple times rather than stuff like the uh, level 3 from Project Diva that does it with the climax combo or the rider that does it on play this can kinda just stay there uh, the only problem with this is it has like no way to gain power so you just have to be bigger than it so this card can help give it a thousand power and you 2k one her and uh, you salvage a card so discarding doesn't make you lose too much advantage and the Sneeko is really good honestly and then my last level 3 I'm just playing one of this healer it's just a vanilla heal in this deck since I'm not running any wind trigger um, wind triggers are good but I prefer 2k ones in general so um, yeah this card is just a vanilla heal in this deck but sometimes I like having the extra heal and uh, so climax is pretty obvious four gates um, I don't know what to say about four gates I like the art I don't really like Honoka too much but I do like the art on that climax and then four of this 2k1 that combos with the level 3 umi um, I'm just playing this version again I like the combo better with the level 3 umi and I like 2k1s a little better than wind triggers so yes that is the Love Lab deck profile. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, I'm still pretty new to the deck, haven't had much playtesting with it or anything. So if you guys have any ideas of what to switch that you think would make the deck better or perform better, um, please leave it in the comments. I'd like to hear it so I can keep it in thought and test it out because this is pretty much my first day having this deck, but I have seen a lot of games with it and whatnot. So. I do know a little bit about the set. Um, but yes, so I plan to do other builds of this deck, um, like the Alpaca version, the blue version, because I think the blue version off offers uh, like a lot of things to this deck that it kind of needs, like a 1-1 one -one backup, and the Maki is really good. So yeah, tell me what you guys think of the deck. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe. This was Vice Rock 97 I'm not Vice Rock. Rock. I'm Vice Rock Rocks, but I can't really English well because I don't know. I must have become retarded overnight. So, um, yes. Hope you guys enjoyed. This was Vajra Sharks 97 by YouTube.